which is to take the tie rods and uh, spin them so that it goes out. Because right now it's wearing a lot on the wheel, mostly the left one. Uh, yeah, so we did a steering inspection, and some of the fault, the joints in it are bad. But then we did a check that. It's just a, it's a rough estimate, but it works. <laughs> Here we have a new program that is moving towards becoming a NATEF certified program. It is three years long, Vehicle Service 1, Vehicle Service 2, and Vehicle Service 3, in which the kids are going through a much more in-depth program than was currently offered in Vehicle Service 1 alone. Uh, the program will be dual credit at NWTC and all the other state tech schools, and hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get the student's certification for, uh, through NATEF for what's called the maintenance and light repair program as well. Basically, this is taking the program from where it used to be just the fundamentals and getting the kids to know things like what are all the parts of the car, how do they interact with each other and work together, and really taking the kids to that next level of being able to service and repair and especially being able to diagnose and understand the systems a little better. There's a lot of freedom to it. You gain a lot of knowledge from it. Um, coming in, I knew just about nothing, and now I can go build a car up and down, basically. With it being a certification program, people really start looking at this as uh, just take this class if you want to do this for a living type of class. It, it's not. We, everybody's welcome down here and kids that just want to know more about their cars or be in a hands-on class, they'll enjoy it and have fun as well. I would say they probably won't go through three years of the class if they're that, that student, but not to be afraid to take the class if you just kind of want to know more about your car. We start with this is a Phillips screwdriver and this is a flathead screwdriver. I don't expect anybody to know anything about the car. Probably know what the wheels are and that's about it. That's fine, I'll take you from there. But I would say we have a disproportionate number of students here that really are looking to become automotive technicians. And it's at a great time. Right now, um, the service industry is where the jobs are and auto tech is one of the biggest needed jobs in the country right now. Women and minorities, there are jobs like crazy in this field and people are dying to get their hands on you. So if you're even thinking about this type of program, it would be a great career choice. The big successes I would say I have are the kids who aren't doing well in school that find out they can do something and they have a career path that they can accomplish. It includes college training. It makes them feel good about themselves to know that they can become something. And I would say those are the biggest successes where those kids figure that out and then start doing well in all their classes at school because now they have a light at the end of their tunnel. Um, I also really do expose the kids to more uh, post-secondary options than they would get in without taking a class like this. The private tech schools that offer programs like this, if they wanted to become a specialty technician, how to go about that, and different careers in places like the military that you can get technician training and come out with a good paying civilian friendly job as well. That's, uh, that's what I've actually, I've been planned as a career. Uh, when I've been going into the Marines for uh, the same thing. And then once I'm out of the Marines, I'll be coming, hopefully starting up the shop. And uh, I definitely thank Sawyer for a lot of it. It's been the best move of my career. I love teaching at East. The administration is strong here. The teachers are strong here. And I don't know how else to say it, but kids are kids no matter where you go. And we just have a great feeling in this building. It is very much a community.